Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com, out here for another gear view, and today I'm talking about something kind of cool. It is the Drop by Ridgeline Outfitters, and as an acronym, stands for Drop Offset Pouch. So, what is it? Well, it is actually this angled piece back here that is attached to this Blade Tech Tech Lock, and as you can see, it has two legs that run down and can get attached to pretty much any PALS compatible mag pouch. So what is it doing? How is it doing it? Well, it allows you to take your pouch by way of example, this one being the IAP Immediate Access Pouch by MDOM. They're actually pretty cool. And you can put your pouch onto that drop and then using the tech lock, you can put it onto your battle belt. So right here, battle belt by core. And over here, I have one of them set up. So with that, again, if you're looking at it, it's basically, offset, kicking that magazine out away from you, kind of feeding it to you, which can be pretty handy on a couple different fronts. Going back to that acronym, drop offset pouch, this does drop it down a little bit. So your mag's gonna sit a little bit lower, and for a lot of people, that's usually a little more comfortable than having it basically at the same level, like higher up on your belt. And you have the offset portion, where this thing is basically angled out. It's kind of feeding it to you. If you look at like competitive shooters, lots of times the mags are set up the same way, like, hey, grab me, just shoved out. So it's really easy to grab for those mag changes, which is pretty nice. The other place this comes into play is cummerbunds. So think plate carriers and side armor. If you're running side armor and if one, this is not dropped and it's not offset, if you're running mags on your belt, depending on how big of a torso, you can run into problems like your side plates will end up hitting and pushing your armor up and now your plates are no longer in position and it's uncomfortable, like a lot of things stem from that. Or maybe you're just storing a lot of extra calories for the zombie apocalypse and your waistline is really big. Usually if your magazines are higher and straight up, they're pretty much cutting into your gut. This can alleviate that as well. Overall, I've actually been pretty pleased with these. I've ran them a number of different places to include just on the range, and they do exactly what they say they do. Drop your magazine down a little bit, which pretty much across the board is usually more comfortable, and that offset. Well, I said it really makes the most sense with respect to like necessity, with plate carriers and side plates, it's honestly just handy. Having your magazines out ready for you to grab, yeah, like that's pretty nice. Is there a downside? I don't know, when I first looked at it, I was like, what about just like smashing into stuff, like going through buildings or in a vehicle, trying to climb out, get around seatbelts, stuff like that. I don't really think so in use, in part, they're not wider than your shoulders. It's not sticking itself out like that as far as moving through a structure and seatbelts try and grab everything. I don't find them to try and grab this more than just magazines on my person anyway. So no, don't really see a downside. Price-wise, you're looking at, I wanna say about 25 bucks for basically the whole unit to include that tech lock. Thing I will say about the tech lock, which is pretty nice, is when you're putting it on a belt, you're not weaving molly like PAL stuff. These go in pretty easy to whatever pouch you want, and this makes it really easy, make sure it's not locked, to put it on whatever belt you want, clump that down and lock it, and you're good to go. Nice and secure, which it's also really nice being able to move this back and forth easily versus, again, weaving a pouch in and out onto a war belt. So pretty handy across the board there too. If you would like to try some of these out, you can get them directly through Ridgeline. And lastly, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. Whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over Teespring or Ballistic Inc, picking up t-shirts or supporting me directly through Patreon. Little as a dollar a month gives you early access usually to videos, as well as some exclusive stuff and access to Discord. So if you have a question for me, happy to answer it over there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadge.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.